Hello, it's the ICE guys here. Welcome back to Microsoft Word 2013. This is our seventh tutorial in this series, and today we're going to be having a look at Word Art. As you can see, I've deleted our title, and I'm now going to insert it again. I'm going to do this by clicking Insert, Word Art, and selecting one of the options. The options that appear here are controlled by the styles that we looked at in the last episode. So if you haven't watched that episode, go and check it out now. I'm going to choose this word art and click on it. This box will then appear and it will say your text here. To edit, simply click in the box, highlight the text and then type your own. To set your text, click outside of the box. You can also alter the styles of this text. Come on the under Drawing Tool Format, click Text Effects, choose Shadow, and choose your desired shadow. If you do not wish to have a shadow, you can choose this option. I'm going to choose this shadow here. We can also click on have a reflection of our text. I'm going to choose no reflection. However, I am going to have a small glow around our text, a bit like this one. You can choose the bevel of your text. I'm going to choose this one. There's several options to choose from. You can also have your text rotated in three dimensions, as you can see in the demonstration here. I'm going to leave my text as it is. However, I am going to apply a transformation. I'm going to choose this transformation here. Finally, if you wanted to change the colour of your entire word out, there is the options here. Or you can click here to select a different colour. If you want to change the colour of individual words, however, highlight the word and then change its colour. This will let you apply effect something like I'm creating now. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment. But for now, goodbye.